CTV News at 5 with Hudson Mack. Good evening. Thank you for being here. It's been a long time coming, but today Janice Edroff took her first steps towards receiving a valuable second opinion. Janice and her family have arrived at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, where they will consult with experts in neurofibromatosis. And by Friday, Janice hopes to have some of the answers that she and her family have waited so long to hear. CTV's Erin Glazier has the story. She joins us live with more. Erin. Hudson, more exciting than flying in by private jet, a trip generously donated by an anonymous person, Janice Edroff walked through the doors of one of America's premier medical facilities to a warm welcome. Get too far ahead. Taking her first steps into the Mayo Clinic, Janice Edroff is cautiously optimistic. Doctors here will be able to help. I was sick and tired of waiting. I'm like, I'm done. I was getting, like... Depressed on most of them. Janice's mobility is getting worse as her condition, neurofibromatosis, progresses. The Mayo Clinic has doctors who specialize in treating it. She's here to get a second opinion on whether she needs surgery to remove growing tumors, a surgery that could leave her paralyzed. I'm like, let's just stay in Vancouver. That's it. That's fine. And then getting the news about this was just, and getting it this fast was so amazing. And now I don't mind having a second opinion, so I'm really glad to be down here and getting this faster. She was supposed to fly down in January, but thanks to a generous benefactor who wishes to remain anonymous, her consultations were moved to the top of the list. I met him um, when we came down yesterday, so it was really nice. Not to mention his private jet, which flew the family to Minnesota far more comfy than a cramped commercial flight that would have cost thousands of dollars. It's not comfortable with my legs, so it's really nice to actually be able to lay down than being in a cramped little chair and not able to like stretch. The BC Ministry of Health has agreed to pay for the second opinion, but will count on medical specialists from BC to consult with those from the Mayo Clinic to determine the next steps for Janice. And hopefully some answers. Not so much my back, but my leg, because it's caused me law pain so that's my main hope for a girl who has always put others first she's done all this fundraising to help other people and uh, you know maybe this is something there's a sort of payback to help her in her life because she's had it really rough all her life tomorrow janice will meet a team of specialists that includes a neurologist orthopedic surgeon and geneticist but for the rest of the day she's seeing the sights of rochester as she tries to stay positive on this tough medical journey. Hudson, I spoke to Janice by phone earlier today. The excitement in her voice was evident and we will be following her progress again tomorrow and for the rest of the week. Her mom is also posting footage of their trip on YouTube. You can take a look at that page at A. Edroff 1. Angie's page and Janice is scheduled to return home, hopefully with some good news on Friday. All right, fingers crossed. Aaron, thank you. You're welcome. Aaron Glazier reporting.